Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video, we will discuss view data loss prevention reports in Microsoft Purview. So the DLP specific reports are available in the Microsoft Purview compliance portal, which include DLP policy matches, DLP incidents, DLP false positives and overrides, third party DLP policy matched. Okay, now let me just quickly log on to the portal and take it from there. All right, I'm logged on to the portal. We will go to Microsoft Purview Compliance Portal. I'm here. Okay. And now I will go to Reports. Now, if you will see Compliance Manager here, it will show you the Compliance Manager may measures your progress in completing actions that help you reduce risk. Okay. You see the compliance score is 50%. You will see that key improvement actions are listed here and you will see view all improvement actions which are listed here. You will see compliance uh, score breakdown and the solutions how to rectify them. Okay. And then and you will see the reports like this on the portal okay which is label record tagging label record over the past 90 days retention label users sensitivity label usage and things like that and then you have to click on uh, details view to get into the details of to see the details of each report, the DLP policy matches. So the DLP policy matches report will show the count of DLP policy matches over time. We can filter the report by date, location, policy or action. And we can use this option to report to, to turn on, uh, to tune or refine the DLP policies as we run them in the test mode, to focus on specific time periods and understand the reasons for spikes and trends to discover business processes that violate organization DLP policies and to understand the business impact of the DLP policies by viewing what actions are being applied to content. We have to verify compliance with a specific DLP policy by showing any matches for that policy. Okay, and if I show you an example of the DLP policy match report sorted by the services, Here it is. So we'll see that uh, this this is the DLP policy match report sorted by services, right? SharePoint, OneDrive, Exchange, and Teams. And then we can also see the DLP incidents if I have to go on the portal. Talking about the incidents and alerts. All right. So when like the policy match report, the DLP incidents report it will show policy matches over time but in a different way at the it will show at the rule level that this is this was the rule uh, that you applied so if an email matched three different rules the dlp policy matches report would show three different line items by contrast the dlp incidents report shows matches at the item level so if an email matched three different rules the incident report shows a single line item for that item okay it also has dlp false positives and uh, overrides so the the dlp false positives and overrides show the count of policy overrides and false positive over time we can filter the report by date, location or policy and uh, we can use the reports to tune or refine the DLP policies by seeing which policies incur a high number of false positives. View the justifications submitted by users when they resolve a policy tip by overriding the policy and we can discover where DLP policies conflict with valid business processes by incurring a high number of user overrides. So this is where I wanted to discuss with you how we can see the reports and then fine tune our policies 
to make this more effective. I hope this was informative for all of you guys. If you have any further queries, please mention them in the comment section and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you. Have a good day.